From the top on down, here comes a one-two pitch. Red Sox win the World Series! Five to one the final tonight! And the best team in baseball wins it all in 2018. Hi, I'm Jeff Corey from the Legacy Foundation here at Shell Point, and we're going to have a great conversation today with several of our residents. We have Don and Joan Bell from Genonia and Wayne Swanson from Turbin, and we're all Boston Red Sox fans. As you know, this is uh, Fort Myers, the home of the Red Sox spring training, and uh, this story began several months ago. We all attended a uh, spring training game, and the Red Sox beat the Yankees that day. It was almost as good as winning the World Series, but our beloved Red Sox pulled off another World Series, um, and so it's been a wonderful year. And so we thought we'd just talk a little bit about baseball and a little bit about friendship. We got an interesting twist to the story here. Um, so, Don, I'm going to start with you. Um, how did you become a Red Sox fan? My wife. I met Joan and we got married and I was from New York, never a Yankee fan. New York, you said that right. I was a Brooklyn Dodger. Okay. And they deserted me, and then uh, New York Giants, and then they deserted me, and then I went on active duty, and her brother and I uh, went to her graduation from Gordon. And uh, Joan, you've been a baseball fan for a lot of years. I got to admit, when we were at the game, I think you know more about baseball than the three of us combined. How did, how did that all happen? <laughs> it's been all my life. Yeah, you know, my dad um, used to take uh, pictures of the Dodgers and the, the farm team in, in Nashua, New Hampshire. Nashua, so, New Hampshire. So that started when I was like eight or ten years old. So great. I've hardly known not being a Red Sox fan. Exactly. <laughs> Great, and uh, Wayne, you're the historian here in the group, so I want to ask you a question. Um, you know, we grew up, spent many years with the Red Sox, disappointed every year, and it was all because of the curse of the of the Bambino. Can you re remind our residents exactly what that was? Well, uh, unbeknownst to many, many people, the Red Sox had Babe Ruth as a member of their team uh, for many years. And unfortunately, the Red Sox owner uh, needed some money uh, to do a Broadway show. And so he worked out a deal where uh, he would uh, uh, sell Babe Ruth to the Yankees uh, in exchange for the meager funds that he got to produce his show. Probably the, the worst decision a Red Sox owner has ever made uh, and we paid for it for a long time because Babe Ruth really basically blossomed uh, once he got to the Yankees and I'm sure most people know about him and his achievements. Back to folk. Red Sox fans have longed to hear it. The Boston Red Sox are world champions. And then in uh, 2004 the Red Sox finally pulled it off, something we never thought was going to happen. They won the World Series, and since then they've done it a couple more times. So do you think this is a dynasty for the Red Sox? Uh, yeah, I think you could probably label that. It. It's hard to have dynasties in baseball. I guess, I guess the Yankees claim that they have the dynasty, but winning four times uh, in, say, 15 years is pretty good. Okay, so the interesting twist to this story is that you all have been longtime season ticket holders there at JetBlue Park as soon as it opened. And fortuitously, you had seats right next to each other. Right. And that's how, we met Wayne. that's how you met Wayne. And Don, tell us a story about what happened after you met Wayne and, and uh, how this young man got to Shell Point. Well, uh, we uh, invited him to come over and see when we were uh, living in Naples and we came to Shell Point and we were living here in Junonia and um, we invited Wayne to come over one time and see the place and he came over and he said whoa I'll let him tell you what he said but uh, he liked the place and um, he moved in here into Macoma and I won't give you his history but uh, we wound up not only seeing the Red Sox games together but living right next door when I, I'm sure everybody in Shell Point has stories about things that happened in their life uh, which basically channeled them to Shell Point. And had they not happened, you wouldn't probably be here. Well, if it wasn't for the Red Sox, who spring train down here, and the Bells, whom I met sitting next to them, I would not be at Shell Point. Uh, clearly, I mean, that, that's what that's, and so I'm, I'm so grateful that I had those two experiences uh, to be able to, to bring me and live in such a great community. Well, I got one other question for Joan. So, 
Baseball brings people together. You're sitting next to each other at a game for three, four hours. You do a lot of talking. You get to make friends and that sort of thing. So do you guys, I'm just asking, do you always talk about Shell Point when you're out there at the ball game and try and recruit some new residents, Joan? <laughs> Um, sometimes we do. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we do. Well, we, I mean, we love Shell Point, so anytime we're talking to anyone and Shell Point comes up, which we usually do bring it up, <laughs> right. we, um, yeah, we, we tell them it's a great place to be. No, that's great. Well, uh, Shell Point residents, spring training is going to be just around the corner, so if you'd like to join some of your good friends here, I'm sure they'd love to have you. And, uh, you know, baseball, again, is a uh, storied pastime, brings people together, and brought these three Shell Point residents together. So I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you soon at Shell Point.